All right, guys, so a little more um, semi-advanced tip here. Uh, let's say we want to keep tracking numbers stored in uh, our database here. So um, uh, that's easy enough. What we're going to do is we're going to hit Control-Shift-D, and we're going to create a field for the tracking number. So the job, let's just call this tracking number. Let's actually call this FedEx tracking number, okay? And so uh, this would work one tracking number for this field. There, there's um, probably more useful ways of doing this, but this is going to be uh, just a basic example here. So FedEx tracking number, we want that. And now we need to add that um, field here to um, be able to see it and edit it. So let's go to fields. I got the current um, table job set up here. And let's just put it right here. And okay, it doesn't line up, but that's okay. So I'm actually going to delete that. Um, let's do this little room here. Um, and FedEx tracking number. Okay. And then let's create a button. So I'll actually just make a button bar here and then I'll make this button bar just one segment. Whoops. Control Z to just undo that. So I'm going to set this button up. And so what I'm going to do with this button is I'm going to go get, let me go get this tracking number here. I'm going to copy this tracking number okay. and then In here, I'm going to paste that tracking number. So this job here, the diner job, has a FedEx tracking number, right? Now I'm going to take this button and double click on it. And let's go into single step, OK? And what I want to do is, is I want this button to actually take us to the FedEx website and track that uh, package. So um, I'm looking for. Uh, open URL here. This is the one. And so you see what I just did there is I, I couldn't remember exactly what URL command it was. So I just started typing URL and it shows me all of these options. These two are for an extension I have installed, but this one open URL. Okay. And I want to turn the dialog off and then I'm actually going to have the URL uh, specify here. And so the first part of my URL is going to be this here. So I, I want to grab this information. Okay. So let's go back in here. So specify the URL. So I'm going to hit um, quotation marks and then quotation marks. Okay. And so now let's just try that real quick. Click OK. Uh, change the cursor to a hand. And then let's actually make this button um, the primary style. And then we really need to put um, let's do that. So it's like a map pin. Where is it on the map? OK, so save. If I click this button, so we've got the open URL, it's going to bring me to the FedEx website, but it's not going to give me a tracking number. And of course, this is going to yeah, actually this is a fairly useful link because it brings me here where I could type in the tracking number. I could copy and paste it, but I want that tracking number to actually show up. I want that URL to look just like this. Come in and then show me the information about the, the tracking. So um, how do we do that? Well, let's go back and edit this button. Single step. So I'm going to click there and that's going to open this up. And then I'm going to click the gear and modify this and specify. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit ampersand. Uh, that's shift seven. So it's and. Okay. It's also here. You can just click and add it. And spaces don't matter in here. Okay. I, I can I can remove all the spaces. I can have extra spaces. I can even have carriage return lines. Like I can, you know, I can put the rest of it down here. It wouldn't make any difference to, to FileMaker where that stuff is. Um, 
but all I'm going to do is I've got and and then FedEx tracking number. Double click that and adds it right there. And so that's going to add whatever detail is in that field uh, for whatever record we're on when we press that button. I'm going to click OK, click OK, click OK. OK, pretty simple. Exit layout, save. And as long as I've got a good tracking number in there, I can click this button now. And it opens up and takes me directly to FedEx for tracking that package. So this is great if, uh, um, you know, if you're on the phone with a customer and they're like, hey, where's my shipment? Um, you can make a button for your operators to just quickly go right to FedEx and um, uh, get right in there. And so uh, a little more advanced here. Uh, I don't I, I want to make sure that uh, this button doesn't show if there is no tracking number in there. So one more real quick little tip here. If I click the button and I go into data and I can hide object when. So what I'll do is I will hide the object if empty, okay, or is empty. Is empty uh, FedEx tracking number, okay? And that's just going to hide this. So hide the object when is empty, the FedEx tracking number. And so you just put this right within the, the uh, parentheses here. Now, uh, field names don't ever need quotation marks. If I put quotation marks around this, um, it FileMaker would just be confused kind of by that um, because it's thinking that I want this string of text. Uh, but if I just leave it without quotation marks, it knows that that's the jobs or that's the FedEx tracking number field on the jobs table. So click OK there, and let's just go take a look at that. Save. Okay, so the button's there. But then if I come here, it just says type in the FedEx tracking number, and there's no way to track it, no button. So there we go. I hope you found that useful. You can use this for linking to uh, web orders. Uh, we use it all the time within FileMaker to link to our, we use on print shop for our front end. Um, so we link to the on print shop order. It's just a really quick link to get there, really quick link to get to tracking numbers. Um, it just makes it faster for your customer service people uh, or yourself if you're on the phone with a customer. Just quickly get to where you need so you can answer their questions fast. Thanks for watching.